So you have GCC Physics Paper 1 either on the day that you're watching this or tomorrow. Either way, I'm going to tell you guys what I did to get a 9 in this subject three years ago. I'm going to give you guys some resources that would genuinely help you so much in getting better in this subject. And even if you just want to boost up a few grades, this will genuinely help you so much. So let's just get straight into it. I don't want to waste your time. Okay, so Physics Paper 1, very, very mathsy usually. So the first thing I want to make sure that you guys don't overlook is those maths questions, is those units. Know those units very, very well. Be able to convert them easily. Know all the different equations that you need to know. Obviously with physics you have a lot of different units that you need to work around and they can very easily trip you up by giving you units that aren't the exact units that you're meant to use in the equation so you first have to convert the units and then you have to put them into the equation. So what you want to always do when you're doing these physics questions is underline the units each time so you don't make a silly mistake with them and each equation that you do, if you have time at the end, please do that same math question one more time just to make sure that you haven't done anything silly because these are so easy to lose marks in but also so easy to get the mark if you just don't do anything stupid. And and if you want practice for those math questions, just bring up any past paper, there's so many of them, just go through and find any math questions in them and just practice them. Genuinely, I don't think you should worry too much about these math questions. You should focus more on some of the other things that people usually overlook. So there's one thing a lot of people forget about within GCSE physics, which I don't know why, because it's just as important in biology and chemistry as well, is the required practicals. A lot of people just forget about them for physics. So please go over these. There's, I think, five required practicals for the first paper that you need to know of, and you need to be able to know the method for them, because they can very easily just give you a six mark question or you just describe the method. When you're doing these questions, please, please, please write the control variables in them. That's always a mark, okay? The control variables are always going to give you one mark. You can also, just to make it clear for them, bullet point everything. Tell them what the independent variable is. Tell them what the dependent variable is. And then put in every single line of the method. If it's a six mark question, try and at least have eight different points. So you can like guarantee those six marks, okay? Even if that sounds a bit excessive, we're trying to give ourselves the best chances of getting a good score here. Okay, so no matter how cooked you think you are, just write everything you know about physics and put it into that six mark and you should hopefully get yourself a few marks from it. And if you are struggling with where to find these six mark questions a lot of people always ask me where can I find these practical questions to practice I am going to leave you a resource that I found really recently and it's got every single six mark that's come up not only for paper one but for paper two as well not only for physics but for chemistry and biology as well so it's so so useful go through all of them and memorize those mark schemes especially for the ones that are to do with the required practicals know them very very well and if you want to just generally be better with those required practicals I leave a few other links as well I think PMT has some flashcards within every practical that can help within learning the methods for all of them and also some quizlets that you can use to try and learn those different steps of the practical. Don't forget them, please go over those required practicals. But from that remember that this is physics just like any other science there's a lot of content for you to remember and if you are struggling with knowing the content I don't recommend for you to watch a whole two hour long video where they go over all of it as I mentioned before it's better for you to look at checklists so I'll leave some checklists down below in the description as well that can help you out look at each of the different areas within the specification work through them one by one and make sure you know how to do questions on it so first stage if you just want to pass just know what the different topics are okay watch a video on every single one of the different topics especially the ones you've never seen before just so you have an idea if you really want to achieve like the higher grades if you want to get a seven to nine try and do topic questions for every single one of those topics especially the topics that you're weaker at and especially on the topics that you've done badly in the past as well so look at your past papers that you've done hopefully and maybe look at some assessments that you've done in the past see what kind of questions that you usually get wrong and do more practice on those ones remember that because we're right before the exam you want to try and go over every single topic one last time just to make sure there's nothing that you're forgetting and I also want you to do one full past paper if you have the time obviously if your exam is on the day you don't really have that time but just do a full past paper just to give you an idea of where in the physics subject you're actually struggling in especially if you don't know do a whole past paper try and do it as quickly as possible don't worry too much about checking your answers just quickly do it just to give yourself an idea of okay I need to focus more on the required practicals or I need to focus more on those smaller questions or I need to focus more on math normally I don't recommend doing past papers this late but for physics because there's so many different areas within physics that you can practice I would recommend doing one of these especially if you don't know what stage you're at and so this can help you figure out okay I need to go over electricity a lot more I've completely forgotten about it only do that if you have time if you're watching this with your exam literally in a few minutes the only thing I can recommend for you now is just watch other people do past papers so watch walkthroughs of past papers and also go over those required practicals in that last bit of time just focus on getting those required practicals in your head and those six markers just try and force them into your head just try and go over as many of those type of questions as you can and obviously go over those equations one last time as well right before your exam and apart from that I want to say good luck to this exam I know you got this. We're making progress across this exam season, so that's good. But you still have to lock in. You have lots of things still to do. You still need to grind for these last couple of weeks and that will be done in no time. So good luck and see you very soon.